Did you know that 60% of the mushrooms that we eat in the United States come from my backyard here in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania, also known as the mushroom capital of the world. That is thanks to family owned businesses like Tojo Mushroom Farm. And we're here today to learn a little bit more about how mushrooms are grown. So let's get started. the grow houses here at Tojo Mushroom Farms and Tojo Pete is going to tell me a little bit about how the process of growing mushrooms occurs. Yeah. So we're here at one of our mushroom farms. This is building number 42. These are called mushroom doubles. Mushrooms take about 12 weeks to grow once they are uh, the pasteurized compost has been moved into the growing house. When you get a mushroom in the store you're going to learn today what it takes to grow that mushroom, pick that mushroom, pack it, ship it, get it to the grocery store, and make it look nice and beautiful, tight, bright, and white, as they say in the grocery store. So. Tight, bright, and white. On that note, tight, bright, and white, let's go. Let's go inside. Is there anything that I might need before we go inside? Well, uh, not quite yet. I think you might need one of I these. See. A beautiful mushroom. Oh. Hairnet. There we go. So what you see here, Jessica, this these beds have been uh, layered with their three inch layer of peat moss. Okay. So that the mushroom spawn has been dug into the compost. It is now being covered with a layer of peat moss and this peat moss will be teased with water to form the mushroom pins or pinheads that will that come up. Exactly. So there's mycelium growing in the bottom here. Yeah. The mycelium is the microscopic knitting of threads that form into the mushroom. So what we do before the compost and the peat moss comes in here is we pasteurize our compost. So Why is that important? So pasteurizing yeah. is very important. So we have to give the mushrooms fuel to grow. So what we do is we form this compost with hay, straw, cocoa shells, cotton seed hulls, gypsum, and it breaks down in a, in a natural aerobic process. That is now forming all this bacteria. We bring that nutrient-rich bacteria, strewn compost into these mushroom houses, we pasteurize it. The pasteurization step will kill all that bacteria. That becomes a fuel for the mushrooms. So we want to have it at a certain level. The dead bacteria is the dead, what they're feeding the off. The dead bacteria becomes a fuel for the mushrooms. Very so neat. If you have very healthy compost, you have a very strong crop of mushrooms. Mushroom farming is one of the most sustainable practices in the agricultural industry. It uses a lot less water. It has a lower carbon footprint than like cattle or beef. Exactly. So it's, it's a fraction of the water needed to grow mushrooms as opposed to raise a cow. So. I like that point that you're making because you may not want to eliminate all your meat, right? But even 50%. Think about that impact that that's going to have on your on your earth, on your on your environment. So what we're seeing here, this is the mycelium. So this is colonized inside the compost, and over time, this knits together. You can kind of see this little baby right here. Mm -hmm. This will grow. They will double in size every 24 hours once they pin. And once these pinheads start growing, this bed will become full. We'll hand harvest it put it into the tills or go out to your grocery stores and then we'll pick one more time and then all of this product will be cleaned out of the house and then it'll be uh, transferred over to a processing facility turned into a fertilizer or a potting soil. It's so important too to know the work that goes into these crops. It's hand, they're literally hand picked. Hand picked three times. and hand temperatures. So all of these bed temperatures have to be measured by hand every day. Yeah. To pick a mushroom, you push and turn. That's it. You push down. Push down and turn. Push down and turn. Look at that. And then you and just then take off the stem. Mmm. It's so fresh. It's so mild in, in comparison to what you're buying at the store. When you go to the grocery store mm -hmm. and you see a little bit of dirt on your mushroom, mm -hmm. it's not the compost. So people think they're growing a manure. It's, that's part of the one of the ingredients in the compost. Sure. But this top layer is called peat moss, and okay. it's basically like mulch. Okay. So if you oh. see a little bit of dirt on your mushrooms, we just call it flavor. And you can eat it. You can eat no it. big deal. Just flavor. Just kind of just brush like it off. Yep, just like mulch. Go with it. Fun, yeah? It's so much fun. Look. Oh, so you can immediately see the color difference yep. here. So these are brown mushrooms. Yep. You may, may I? Yeah. Push and turn. They actually don't taste that much different at this stage. Right? No. Very mild, very fresh. White mushrooms, brown mushrooms are the same genus and species. 
They're all agaragus bisporus mushrooms. There's a little twist in the DNA that gives it this nice brown color to the tip. Agaragus bisporus. Say that three times fast. Agaragus bisporus. Agaragus bisporus. Agaragus bisporus. Yeah. These are uh, cremini mushrooms. Cremini mushrooms and portobello mushrooms are actually the same mushroom. Okay. They just double in size every 24 hours, so gotcha. they let these grow for a few more days and they will become portobello mushroom. <laughs> this is a typical eight ounce mushroom pack that you, you buy go. at a grocery store. So Tojo does primarily private label. So we have all these mushrooms hand harvested right into the tills and then they come back to our processing facility where they're packed and shipped under a variety of labels. So thank you so much. My mind has been absolutely blown. This is so incredible. Thanks for having us here today. And for more information on how you can eat your way to wellness, check out the Eat Your Way to Wellness YouTube channel. Find me on Instagram and Facebook. And there is no cap to the mushroom fun. How can they find Tojo? Look for Tojo on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter at Tojo Mushrooms and look for our recipe videos on Kitchen Live series on Instagram. See you guys next time.